Hey Kingdom Kids, Donna the Billionaire here and welcome to Kingdom Kid Ministry. So I just wanted to come on and give y'all a quick word. So it's very evident what is happening in this time. We've already, you know, the trumpets have been sound. We've already received the word. We've seen, we've received prophecies. We've received confirmation. We've received the word from God, right? And so now I think that it's very important that we give God his time because it's very um, easy for you to start to idolize the promise or constantly, um, you know, worrying about when it's going to happen. You are unconsciously basically like falling into worry, which is not of God, right? And so, um, I think that we should consecrate ourselves, uh, just go into a place of worship and thanksgiving because it's already done, it's not a matter of if or when it's just we receive it and we just thank god for it so as we consecrate i just want to give y'all a couple of scriptures because this is a word for the wise so god was he had led me to a couple scriptures and i just want to give them to y'all so that y'all can have something to meditate on um it is proverbs Right, Proverbs 24, the entire chapter, that's one. So Proverbs 24, the entire chapter. And then I want y'all actually to read Deuteronomy chapter 6, 7, 8, and 9. And it sounds like it's a lot, but it's not. Because, you know, I've already been working. I've been working. We've been, I've been getting it done, y'all. So the reason why... I feel like these are so important for this time because it gives you instructions in it and it and in Proverbs 24 that is a word for the wise. Those are those are words of wisdom. Um and then so Deuteronomy 6, 7, 8 and 9 are simply about how you should operate when God, you know, when you are actually sitting and resting in your promised land. So um yeah. Yeah, Deuteronomy 6. A lot of people talk about Deuteronomy 8, and I understand why. Because it talks about, well, when God first told me that he was going to give me a, a promise, that was what he led me to. It was, he will give me prosperous cities that I did not build and everything like that. And he also told me, like, once I, you know, get it, don't forget him. Like, he had that on me ever since March of 2000. And, what was that 23 so that's when i began to read deuteronomy but when i actually took it back and began to read the whole book it started in chapter six and so um yeah and you must love the lord your god with all your heart all your soul and your strength you must commit yourself wholeheartedly to these commands um yeah it's, it's very important i think that you should read six seven eight and nine it's it's a lot of good stuff in those chapters they are not long chapters i think six seven eight and nine you should be able to complete this in like one day so and then the other one was proverbs chapter 24 the entire chapter of 24 and so these are just words to the wise rest in god now rest your spirit now rest your mind now because it's already done it is nothing that can interfere with it besides disobedience <laughs> so um just don't allow the promise to become an idol to you don't allow the promise to become an idol to you because it is god who gives us the ability to create wealth it is god all promotion comes from god okay so um Overall, just get in your Bible. I told y'all I read the daily walk simply because it keeps me on track. Like if I say if I go maybe a week and I, I call myself being so busy that I haven't read the Bible, right? I will go to the day that I'm on and I will start there until God decides to show me other things. Like a lot of times when I start in one place, God will take me to other places. But um, I actually was reading... 
a day of, you know, a date that God gave me. And that's how I was led to Proverbs 24. And I think it's so good because um, Solomon talks about, I walk by the field of a lazy person in the vineyard of one with no common sense. I saw that it was overgrown with needles. I was, it was covered with weeds and it, and its walls were broken down. Then as I looked and thought about it, I learned this lesson. A little extra sleep, a little more slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, then poverty will pounce on you. Then poverty will pounce on you like a bandit. Scarcity will attack you like an armed robber. Okay, and I think that is important because in uh, I talked about on my live, go watch, uh, I think it's spiritual downloads. That's what it's called, spiritual downloads. And on that live, I spoke about um, being in a quiet place with God right now because he is giving instructions, okay? Um, God will always give you instructions before a provision, preparation before a provision, okay? And so um, in order to hear from God, you have to be in a, a place where everything, you are blocking everything out and like humbling yourself before him seeking instructions so he can reveal hidden things to you right but once you start you have to finish don't start and then get too comfortable that you start to neglect your work okay that's what god was definitely telling me don't don't get so comfortable in having things that you start to neglect your work um do not dis uh, despise small beginnings and um yes be a good steward and um, always show gratitude for whatever it is that God gives you, no matter how big, how small. So again, read Proverbs 24 and then read Deuteronomy 6, 7, 8, and 9. These are going to be very much power to your soul, okay? It's going to be literally the bread of life. It's going to be, it's going to fill you up so serious, like... Six, seven, eight, nine, and then Proverbs twenty-four. That is five chapters. So I don't know how long you're gonna do your cross your consecration for, but I think that it is very important for us to now give God all of the praise, give Him all of our attention. Like, go back to the reason for it all. Go back to the reason for it all. God is the reason for it all. Okay. So yeah. It's, it's good to finally to be out the wilderness. It is good to finally see the promises of God come to pass. It is good to, um, I mean, it's beautiful to live under an open heaven. It's beautiful for a desolate land to be healed. It All of it is beautiful. But to God, get all the glory, okay? Don't lose your way. Don't cause it to be a long fall for you, okay? Because when you get to losing your way and, and taking credit and... Um, idolizing things and people and whatever it is, the fall will be a great one, okay? And um, God just, God will be able to see like, okay, this this really who you is. Like, you'll never want to feel like you you lied to God or that you used God for something. Like, that's, that feeling going to eat you up for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, um just be just humble yourself before god be honest before god just open yourself up and just give him you everything else can wait give him you everything else can wait so um yeah let's stay in a place of heavy worship i want people all over the world worshiping today praising today just giving god thanks thank him for it already being done it's no if ands or buts it's already done okay he is a covenant keeping god he is not a man that he shall lie so Let's love on our father. Let's stop let's stop focusing so much on what is coming. Like definitely do the work. Um, you know, plan, organize, do your research, um, and make sure that you're spiritually ready. And we talked about spiritual preparation in the video the other day. So that is very much important. But give God you because everything else will be added unto you. Just give God you. So, I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. And I will see y'all in my next video.